Welcome back everybody, Decon Nation. Travis here. I'm gonna do a maintenance wash on my wife's uh, 2017 C63 AMG. Um, last time I washed this car, it's been about two or three weeks, it's really dirty. Uh, so this will just be a maintenance type of wash where I'll do the wheels. I'll use a pH neutral soap, um, foam it up, and then dry it. Um, probably put a little topper on it maybe as a drying aid or something just for a little bit of protection. So before I made any videos, I had put a, uh, it was a Gion ceramic wax on it the last time after I did a polish. Now, so I'm curious to see how that holds up, if it's still some water beading um, and how easy it dries. So this will be a, a fairly easy wash for the day and I'll show you what products I use uh, and we'll just have a talk along the way. So let's get it started. All right, guys, so got my Obsessed Garage gun. Uh, with the swivel, this thing's awesome. OG hose, that's a 50 foot hose, um, hooked up to my active pressure washer, and we are ready to go. So this wheel is completely filthy. Again, I'll show you what products I'm using. So I've got Adams wheel and tire. I put this straight on there. A lot of guys foam it, um, use a, a separate foam cannon for this, but I just haven't really loved doing that. So I'm just using it straight on. So I'm just gonna give it a rinse first. It's been about three weeks, I would say, since I last cleaned it. Not a lot of rain, we haven't driven it a whole lot, but it's filthy. I will tell you one of the mods that I did, uh, I took all the wheels off and I added spacers. So I think I have 15 millimeter in the front, 12 millimeter in the back, um, just to give it that, that more flush look. And it's, uh, it's look really good. So I'm gonna spray this directly on the tire. I'm gonna do the tire first, just by itself. This is my routine. I always do wheels and tires first because they're the dirtiest. And I use a separate bucket. So I have my wheel bucket here. If you can kind of see, so I keep my wheel bucket here clean water just with some brushes in it so this is browning pretty good on here now it is a super bright day it's uh, extremely bright not too hot a little chilly out but uh this stuff will probably dry pretty quick on it so i'm using my tough shine brush just with some water give it a scrub it's pretty brown So I always use my pressure washer and I rinse off my brush before I put it back in the bucket. Just to keep my water as clean as possible. I'll rinse the tire. It's, it's super black. I don't know if you can see that on the ground, but a lot of dirt coming off. So that Adam's wheel and tire works really good. This is a good, it's, it's my favorite product that I've used without testing Brake Buster, which I've mentioned before. Um, I'm gonna test Brake Buster, but it's been my favorite to be able to use one product for the tire and the wheel. And it works really well. So now I'm gonna spray Adam's wheel and tire again all on the inside. The brake dust on this is not quite as bad as my M3. The BMW is nuts. It's some work. So I use a good bit of this. I spray it pretty liberally. Then I have an easy detail brush that I used to get behind way in the spokes and rotors, all under there. This smash is pretty good behind the, the caliber, even though it's tight. Just gotta work it in there. So all three of my cars are really filthy right now. My M3 is extremely filthy. 
So I'll make another video cleaning that, but I had to put the break-in miles on it. So I think I had about 500 miles in the car. And then I took it to uh, Lady Lake, Florida, just outside Orlando. Let's see what brush I want to use here. I'm just, I'm just I'm gonna try something different. I have this Adams uh, microfiber brush. This might work pretty good here in this car. But yeah, my wife and I took the M3 just for a couple of days to Florida. So now I have 2,000 miles on it. It's ready for its break-in service, which I have scheduled in a couple of weeks. So I haven't been driving it too much since we got back. We actually went to the Obsessed Garage open house event. Got to meet Matt. Chris Haynes, Mike, Brad, Nick, Manny, a lot of the guys. I remember, they were super cool. And it was a cool event just getting to see them, seeing the operation, buying some stuff. So that kind of gave me an excuse to get the, the break in miles on the car. So I don't have a whole lot of plans to drive it. I have this other Adams wheel brush, it's kind of, it's rubberized around. It's a little bit softer than a tire brush. So just kind of get on the flat part of this, folks. Just a little extra. But yeah, that was an awesome event. Just for a quick little open house. Checking it out. You know what? Might need my little detail brush. I have a little small one. Look, I'm gonna spray a little bit on that center cap. And this little small brush where I can just kind of get on these little crevices that the other brushes miss. Works nicely. Might have a little bit there. It's hard to see sometimes. You'd always double check after when it's dry. Yeah, as you know, I'm going to be selling that M3 because I have an X Drive M3 on order. So, try not to put a lot of miles on it. At this point, I'll get the braking surface done and then uh, try to preserve it because I'm about 30 to 45 days from the, the next M3 coming in. All right, so this wheel is done. I'm going to do the other four and then I'll meet back up with you guys when we get to rinsing the car and foaming. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so, we, so I did all the four wheels. Gonna rinse the car down to get a lot of this dust off. Um, it's it's pretty dusty and a lot of dirt and water spots from a little bit rain driving. Um, so I'm gonna get all this off as much as I can with the pressure washer, just a rinse, and then I'm gonna foam. I'll show you uh, how I set up my foam cannon and uh, what products I'm using again, and then uh, then we'll foam it up and give it a good wash. This is the first time I rinsed the car since I put the Gion ceramic wax on it, which is number one, incredibly easy to apply. It's super thin and uh, it smells amazing. It made the whole garage smell just really clean. And uh, so I didn't ceramic coat this vehicle. I just put that as a standalone uh, wax and this, this stuff is beating, beating really well. I'm pretty impressed with it. So it may not last as long, well, I know it won't last as long, um, for example, as a full ceramic coating. Now, what I'm really curious to see though, is the, the way it holds up. Uh, so supposedly the way that the Gion ceramic wax is made, it, it goes well and bonds well with the ceramic coating, which is typical carnauba wax. 
would not be a good topper or a good option there. So whenever I did my M3 and full paint correction, full ceramic coating, I did, so I did the Adams graphene ceramic coating, which is okay. You know, I just had it and I wanted to try it. And I topped it after it cured. So I let, it, I let the ceramic coating on that car cure 24 hours. And then I put this same Xeon ceramic wax on top. And uh, man, it was super slick. It was super slick already on this car. Again, it's a super bright day and I'm washing in direct sunlight, which I don't like to do at all, but I really have no other option. Just the direction that my house faces. and Again, it's really windy today, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have foam flying everywhere. But, all right, loving the beating. Rinsed. Pretty good, pretty easy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. So I have this extension that came with the, the package. So I always remove it and point it away from me because it pours out the water and it's got the nozzle on the end. So I'm gonna, I love these Quickenex, these things Quickenex, and I'm gonna attach my foam cannon onto this. And I'm gonna save the, the extension later for rinsing. Now the foam cannon, I'm gonna bring to you, it's an MTM foam cannon, came with the package from a Seth's Garage. Uh, so what I'm using in here is Adam's Mega Foam. So I have a lot of it and it works pretty good. Um, I probably squeezed half the bottle. If I had to guess, I'm gonna grab that bottle really quick for you. I, I, I'm guilty of using too much. Sometimes I didn't measure, so I'm curious to see how it'll foam still, but here's the Adams Mega Foam. And that, the bottle was brand new, so you can see that's about how much I used, if you can tell in there, so probably too much. And then in the wash bucket, I have just regular Adams Car Shampoo, which is pH neutral as well. So I'll foam it with this and then soap it down with this. And the pH neutral just helps to prevent spotting, especially in the bright sun. So, I'm going to take my foam can here. All right, so we're set up. Let's see, and I usually foam with warm water, but it's pretty cold. Now you just use the, the hose bib to fill up the, uh, the rinse bucket. So then I, so when I put the soap in here, you know, I put, you're supposed to put probably three to four ounces of soap. I didn't measure again, but I put that and then I slowly put my foam cannon into the rinse bucket, which is just clean water to fill it up the rest of the way. So if you fill it up under your faucet in the sink or, or anything, this, this will suds everywhere. So you gotta do it really slow. And you just kind of tilt it around and mix it in. So let's see how it foams. It, it foams like crazy. That's, that's how it foams. It's really amazing how this whole package just works together because it's like thick shaving cream on here. Man, is it thick. Now what I do if I have extra in the foam cannon and after I'm done foaming the entire car, then what I'll do is I'll, I'll just pour it out into my wash bucket with the rest of the soap, because that won't hurt anything. This active pressure washer for the money is so good, but it's because of the way it's set up. Man, this is so good. I am pretty much converting to GSF, the Koch Kimmy or Coke Kimmy, I'm not sure exactly how you say it, but just because uh, Chef Garage sells it, support them. But this, this stuff is still <laughs> amazing. It's not even dripping off the car, it's so thick. So I've already almost used it all. So you might better tell. In there you can see about three quarters of the way. Right, it's coming off the car pretty good here. So, you know, if the foam drips off, I'd take that as a sign of 
whatever I put on the car, it's doing its job. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing if it comes off easy. So I'll just use some of the rest. It smells like cherry, I'm gonna guess. It, it just smells good. All right. So I'm gonna take the foam cannon off. I'm going to put my extension wand back on because uh, just, just when I'm ready to rinse. And it's okay to let that sit on there for a couple minutes. I just put a little extra water in my wash bucket, just suds it up a little bit. But that's what I like about the foam as well. So not only is it lubricating and uh, taking dirt off, it gives you a little time, you know, to get your other stuff together, and, which I, I had pretty much all fixed already. So you can't see what I'm doing right now as I'm just pouring the rest of my foam cannon, mega foam into my wash bucket. All right, and I'll clean and rinse that later. So, two bucket method. Got my wash and rinse buckets. So I had them on these casters that everybody uses. You know, these, uh, I forgot what they're called exactly, but it's where the, the two buckets are in a cart. Each and you can roll them around. Well, my driveway is sloped too much where it just keeps rolling right off the driveway. So, X that. And I appreciate you guys that have you know, sent me some positive comments already about the channel and just enjoying it. Uh, I just do this again because it's a passion of mine. This is not for business, not because I'm a professional, not because I want to be popular. It's just, I enjoy doing it. So I figured why not document it? And if anybody wants to follow along, then awesome. If not, awesome. <laughs> it's a, I'm all good either way. You know, this car, uh, my wife messes with me because, so it's her AMG, right? And I'm, I've always been just BMW at heart. And this, this is the first Mercedes that I ever owned in any capacity. We bought it used. It's got just over 30,000 miles right now. And I, I kind of have this love-hate relationship with it. It's, it just doesn't do it for me like BMW does. So I, I guess I just, you know, I never owned a Mercedes and I had these expectations, which is probably not a good thing. Just I expect it to be more luxury than BMW. And you know, to compare, you know, just for time frame, so I had a 2016 M4, and I also had a 2018 uh, BMW M3 competition. So, and, and I love those cars. Um, they're different from this car, but this one just the whole the whole user experience. All the tech in it is just uh it's not user friendly to me whereas I, I love i mean in my 2022 m3 i absolutely love the uh the iDrive system interface and the usability of it now i understand it's updated but i even rather it in my 2018 m3 but take the technology out of it you know just i guess i expected a certain quality and not that this car is bad quality but number one this is a rough riding car this car rides like a track car even in comfort mode which it's kind of supposed to okay I get that but I mean any little bump you feel like <laughs> a lot of times you feel like the entire suspension is gonna fall off even in comfort And look, my M3 has a stiff ride, but it's so much more solid feeling. 
I don't know that's because this one has 30,000 miles on it. But the other thing is every panel, everything in this car, when you hit a bump, rattles like it's gonna fall off. Everything on the interior. You grab the door handle, it's squeaky. This car is best when it's at speed. So when it's 50 miles an hour or above, that's when I enjoy this car the most. It seems to rattle the least. See, I'm washing in this direct sunlight. And I really like the paint warming up, which could dry. The soap on it. Good thing it's pH neutral, but I'm trying to keep it lubricated and wet. You know. Yeah, I mean, this car, the engine's awesome. Naturally, I mean, you got a twin turbo V8. Who wouldn't like that? Sounds pretty good. This one has the AMG night package and it has the AMG uh, performance seats, like the more racing style seats, which are pretty cool. Kind of more rare to find. I mean, it's in amazing condition. I, it even was before. I got my hands on it. Just double check and make sure I got everything. But I don't know, I guess I just expected, I just had such as high expectation. Bought out of California and they just shipped it right to my office. When they came off the truck, you know, it was just uh, first time I drove it. I guess I just was thinking of something different. And uh, it just didn't live up to it. Now I've learned, I've learned the car and become more comfortable with the car. I'm just gonna rinse now, so I'm gonna just rinse all the soap off. So I've come accustomed to it. So that helps. I'm gonna rinse the sunny side first so it doesn't dry up. And I'll go to the shaded side after. But it's just, um, th this car does have some cool factor to it. It's a little softer look, you know, which my wife loves the look of it. She just never loved BMW as much, but I think I'm kind of turning her. Look, I appreciate all cars. It's just some, some do it for me and some don't. But you know, Mercedes is, is not gonna be making V8s anymore in their AMG line. They're, they're going all hybrid and electric, which I'm sure will have great performance, but uh, you know, some people just still love having that V8. And I kind of bought this car because of that. You know, I mentioned earlier, I didn't really do a lot of mods to it. I mean, I put the spacers on the four wheels, did that myself. Um, and I did, uh, I did have the front grille change to the more updated facelift, which was 2019 uh, and newer body styles. The car was the same, just the front end looked a little different. So the grille has the panoramic uh, slats like the GT straight up and down, whereas it had a cross slat before. I think this looks better. So I did that for her birthday. Or maybe it was her Christmas present, can't remember. <laughs> but it was late, late 2021 when I did that. See, yeah, I kind of have this love-hate with it. I mean, I just enjoy driving my car, my, when I say my car, my M3 more, but I guess I'm biased because I just fell in love with BMW early on. To get my hose. Okay. 
but when when you're when you have speed and you get on this car, I mean, it sounds awesome and it 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 rolls. I mean, any twin turbo V8, I don't I don't care who it is. Put a twin turbo V8 in a Chevy Chevy Malibu, it's gonna roll. May not drive the same as there's nothing in the Chevy Malibu. It just it, you know it's not made for power. Never tracked the car. Never tracked any car. It's just not um, not something I've ever gotten around to. Not that I wouldn't like it. I, I may like it. I just don't know. But I figure if this car is that good on the track, then it's it's awesome on the road. So I'm gonna I'm gonna dry it off right after. So I bought a new blower. I had an Ego 30 CFM, which was nice. I really liked it. I mean, I like the Ego product. But you know, I get these wild hairs, and I was at Lowe's last night, and I have the whole Ego line for my yard. So I have the lawnmower, and I have the trimmer, or as we say in South Louisiana, a weed eater. And uh, they had the new. 765 TFM blower, which is like the most powerful. So I bought it and I'm selling the other. I'm selling the 530, which I've had for about six months or so. I'm just going to finish rinsing this side really quick, just getting my hose. So I'm curious to try it in the car because it, it's got some power in that blower. The main thing is I'm keeping it wet. Just finished back here, got a few suds. And after I dry it, you know, I try to rinse some of this stuff. I'm just not driving it. After I dry it, I'm going to immediately pull it in the garage to get it out of the sun. And I'm probably going to use Adam's detail spray because I have so many, like I have so many bottles of it and gallons. I just need to use it. Uh, even though as a drying aid, I'd much rather use the Obsessed Garage drying aid. But I'm going to use the detail spray as a drying aid, which it works pretty well. All right, so I'll show you what I got. So um, if you'll see right here, look, 765 CFM. It's new, it's pretty awesome looking actually for a blower. So I'm gonna put it in turbo mode and we're gonna see what it does. So it's louder than the 530. But I tell you what, it's, it's got back pressure, and it is it is moving some water compared to the 530. It helps with the car has something on it too. Wrap. Maybe it's tape looking in. This thing's powerful. I mean, I hope you can hear me. I feel like I have to yell. Let's bring it in the garage. Let's bring it in to dial it in, to fine tune it. All right, guys, so we're back inside the garage. Got everything set up. Um, so as you can see, the car's pulled in at an angle, and I like doing it like this anyway, so I have the most room to work around um, and do everything. So I just blew it dry, so it's pretty dry for the most part. Um, it just sometimes it leaves a little bit of spotting or residue, uh, which, this will help finish drawing the car and 
you just give it a nice clean finish, so to speak. So this is the Adams Detail Spray. It's just their most popular detail spray, what they probably sell the most of that I've been using forever. Like I said, I am gonna switch over to the OG Drying Aid, which I've tested already and tried, and I really love it. Um, I like using it. But I have so much of this that I'm gonna use it for now. And I have two towels. So I tend to, to wipe with the first one, and if I need, I come back with the second one. I use some, some fairly plush microfiber towels, and these are Adam's uh, single soft towels, what they're called. So uh, th this detail spray does not give any protection, as far as I know, from Adam's. It, it, it just kind of finishes it nicely. So what I may do is I have something else from Adam's that I might just throw on top after as well, which is their slick and slide, and I just have it and just need to use it. So I'm probably gonna put that on top of the car just as a topper, which is kind of like bead maker, I guess. It just gives it some slickness um, just to repel water, be hydrophobic, and, uh, and kind of become that sacrificial layer on top of the wax that's still on the car. You know, the car still feels really soft and smooth. I did clay it and polish it, like I said, the last time, you know, before I, I made any video on it. So uh, this detail spray, I just kind of, you can just kind of go everywhere on it. It's kind of lightly mist. And I just wipe back and forth and then I usually flip my towel. And it really, uh, it really does clean up nicely. So I'll come back after and, and do the windows, you know, but I, I do use this on the window, just kind of everywhere. If you put too much of it, you might see a little smearing. That's a lot of these type of products I find. So this is not something that you're just gonna soak it down, you know, and soak the whole side of the car down. I kind of see some water streaking, just a little bit of where some may have dripped out. So this just should solve all of that. So just kind of work by section. I actually left my seat outside my detail cart that I use, but yeah, this just cleans up really nicely. See, I've been having this car a few months. You know, I'm honestly not sure if it's something that we are going to keep. I just haven't decided yet. As I've mentioned, I've flipped a lot of vehicles lately. And this one, uh, I, just, I just don't know if I want to sell it, you know. Uh, my wife does like it. Again, it's kind of got that, I don't, I don't know what you call it, but um, it's, it's gonna be unique because there's not gonna be any more of these. Yeah. No more V8s. You know, BMW, put a V8 in their M3 starting in 2008. I had one of those. It's a four liter V8, just naturally aspirated. And then when they came out with the new F80 M3, uh, they went back to a, a twin turbo six. So I think V8s are, are probably just, the, the reality is they might be obsolete one day. I mean, probably will. Maybe all gasoline engines will be obsolete one day, but I'm not ready for that. You know, there is something about a V8. 
but I do love my twin turbo six in that M car. Now what my wife had before this, which I, I don't have any video of, I don't believe, was a 2020 Roush Stage 3 Grabber Lime. I may have talked about it before, but that, that might have been the best sounding car I've ever owned. And the 750 horsepower Roush exhaust. We went up to North Carolina to buy that car from Tyndall Roush. You know, that was her dream. She loved Mustangs. She had a Mustang GT 5.0. That was a 2018. No engine work to it. We just did like lowering springs and uh, wheels and tires. We put Vossens on that car. That's when I first heard of Vossens and we had ordered some Vossens and man, they looked, uh, they looked awesome. Now, I, this happens sometimes to me. These single soft towels, I don't know why, but sometimes I get some lint from them. And uh, it, it just kind of, it's not, it's not bad, but that's just a, a little bit of a OCD, I guess, or a perfectionist in me. Sometimes it's fine. I don't, I don't get it. I don't think I'm washing them incorrectly. You know, I've, I've even researched that on how to wash microfiber and I do it very specifically. And once I feel this towel getting a little bit too wet for me, because I don't want it soaking wet, then that's when I'll, I'll flip and use the other one. Some people do a, a pass with, with one and then, you know, buff it off with the other. You can do that as well. So I feel like professionals, you know, probably do not use Adam's Detail Spray for much of anything. Uh, more so enthusiasts and just consumers. Not really sure why, it's probably just not a need for it. You know, there's other products, but it's still, it's still something that I don't mind using and it still does a pretty good job. So yeah, just using it as a drying aid, you know, gives it a little bit of shine and kind of just restores whatever you had on there prior to. If I stand right here, it's got a pretty good bit of gloss still. That ceramic wax, I think worked really well. Okay, this will get you a better shot of the front. Right here, just still using the detail spray, I'm going around. I want to get my cart, which if I haven't mentioned before, this is a Harbor Freight, $60 special. It's, a, it's called a Grants, which I guess is a play off of Griot's Garage, which is funny. Um, but Griot's and Adam's both have a, uh, a seat almost identical to this, and I think it's just a play off of that. But for 60 bucks, it's, it's a deal. Got some pretty big casters on it. And the wheels are large and nice. So. Yeah, whoever did my driveway here the house it's like i have a gravel driveway and i don't i have cement or concrete and it's it's just washing away and it's only about three years old so it's a terrible job whoever did it and the little seat i had like it was like a 20 dollars seat from amazon that i had um, and i had that thing for years actually it just chewed up the, uh, the wheels on it. They were small wheels. So these are much larger. And it's actually been pretty awesome for the money. I'm not sure it's, um, it'd be necessary for, for this style for me to spend the extra money. The Adam's one may, may look a little cooler or something, but this one's smooth and it, it works well. 
Okay, so you might be able to see there's still a little water that just kind of collects on the tires. That's just normal. So that's why I use the detail spray kind of just has a finishing touch as well on the tires. So I just do a little slight mist and I just kind of go in between. See, there's water in there. Cause that water won't dry and the very next time I'm gonna move the car, you know, to park it back in its place, then it's gonna go all over. Spot the wheels. It's in really good shape. Sometimes you can see like, you see this white entire here? That, that looks like gravel I was driving through when it's actually just the driveway that's getting chewed up all the time because there's, there's no top layer to the cement. It's just, man, it's, it, I really dislike that. The house is only three years old, three and a half roughly, so. All right, that one's done. So completely did all the wheels, uh, completely did all the car with the detail spray as a drying aid. So that's done. So next I'm going to do windows. I did the door jams as well. Um, going to do windows next. I had to open these garage doors so it gets kind of hot in the garage sometimes. And um, I, I like the lighting when the door is closed. I mean, I like working when it's closed, but the next thing I need to invest in is a, an AC, like a mini split system or something, uh, especially because it's not even summer yet. You know, it's 60 degrees outside and it's hot in the garage. So summer's gonna be brutal. Anyway, so I haven't found my favorite glass cleaner yet. I mean, this one's okay. Use it's Adam's glass cleaner. I like it, it gets the job done. So what else I wanna show you is the towel. So this is an edgeless microfiber towel from the rag company and it's very low pile. So it's not a, a very plush towel. And I don't want a plush towel because the plush towels tend to leave more lint. This grabs a little better and um, you know, it leaves a very clean window. So, and this sprayer, some of these Adam sprayers work well, like their older style sprayers work better. Some of them are terrible. This one just kind of like pours. Man, I'm gonna have to change that out. That's terrible. <laughs> like when you stop spraying, it just keeps kind of leaking out. So this car does have a sunroof. Whereas all the M cars I have had carbon fiber roofs, which is a cool touch. But some people like the sunroof. Teach his own, whatever you like, you like, it's cool. But it cleans up the windows pretty good. This product does, you know, so I'm gonna do inside here. If you just flip your towel over, it'll clean it up nicely. Now your towel gives you probably half the results versus the product. And if I use a paper towel, on it on my, on my uh, mirror, for example, versus a microfiber, you'll probably see a big difference. So yeah, it works pretty well. I, don't, I have no idea if their glass cleaner, Adams I'm talking about, has any kind of like sealant in it or anything that would give your window any beating properties or protection. I'm not claiming that it does. I, I don't know if it does, but it tends to do a pretty good job. Yeah, that cleaned up nicely. Maybe I had to kind of prime the sprayer. Now it's spraying a little better. But yeah, I'll probably use some slick and slide as a topper, put the tire gloss on, and that'll be a wrap. This thing's gonna look it's gonna look amazing. It's already glossing. So the tire gloss is the very last thing I do always. I never do anything after that. That's part of my process. You know, windows are usually at the end. I did the windows now just to clean them because if a little bit of um, slick and slide gets on them, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. It shouldn't streak. Okay, so it's looking good. So we're almost there. Um, 
I'll, uh, I'll get this looking slide, I'll show you that, and let's move on to the next step. All right, so it's time for our last step of the paint for today. So this is the Adam Slick and Slide. I'll bring that to you. You can see it. It's yellow, it's kind of a mango scent. And I don't think, this doesn't have any kind of wax in it or anything that I know of. It just says Hyper Slick. Um, it just makes the surface hydrophobic. And that's simply it. Just a sacrificial layer. So if I'm gonna run through any rain or anything, or my wife will in this case, then um, you know, hopefully it'll just knock that off first and it'll, it'll allow the wax to last longer on the car. If your car was ceramic coated, I don't know how this plays with ceramic coating. I've never tried it, um, but I would think it'd be okay. And uh, it'll just, it helps, it helps the longevity of a coating that you have. So if you're going to spend all that money on a coating or spend all the time doing a coating yourself, then you want it to last naturally. If it's claiming seven years or five years or nine years, whatever it is, that's, only because you've very well and properly maintained it. So this is pretty easy. I've got two towels again. Um, now this, these are more plush edgeless towels from the rag company. I don't know what GSM they are, but I just like these gray ones. They're awesome because you want this, you want to soak this stuff up and, and uh, spread it over the paint. Again, you don't want it thick. What I'll do is I'll do this side first since it's on camera. Get my cart. You know, all you need is a light mist and layer. So I just missed a section and I'll come over. It's, it's super slick feeling, and that could be because of the wax as well. It should wipe off very easily, and there's no streaking. It smells just like mango. I'll tell you one thing I do. I don't know if this is a, a direct competitor with um, Beadmaker, but when it came to Beadmaker, I, I actually, I think I threw the rest away of the bead maker that I had. I had like maybe half a gallon left. Number one, it's super humid down here in South Louisiana where I am. And I had to put so much bead maker on, you have to put it on really thick to where it doesn't, uh, it doesn't streak. It was streaking so bad. And then a day later, the car would just be a dust magnet and covered in dust. This stuff does not do that. So again, I have no idea if it's the same thing. I kind of use it the same way. I mean, I think you can use bead maker as a, uh, as a drying aid. This you would not use as a drying aid. So maybe there is some difference, but essentially the result is the same. And look, this panel that I've done already, I mean, it, it, it feels wet. It's super slick. So I actually like this product. You know, if you use it as a standalone, it's not gonna give you any protection. It's just gonna give you that slick feeling surface. So I think it's good to use on top of something. So that, that's just, it's not my professional opinion, it's just my experience. You know, use something good to protect the car and then use something like this, kind of like an accent. It just wipes on and off really easy, especially because of the condition of the paint. Man, it looks awesome. It is awesome. Easy wash day. I think that's it. I don't know if you can tell the gloss on the camera, but it's looking pretty good. Looks really good, actually. It feels awesome. So, that's everything. So the last step is going to be tire gloss, and then we're done, so not too bad for a day's work. I mean, I've been at it maybe an hour and a half or so, but I did have some, uh, a couple of stops in between, just a quick break. Um, then if you do it straight through, maybe an hour. You know, I'm talking, taking my time with the camera. Um, but I wanna show you guys the tire gloss that I use, and that's gonna be it for today's video. Okay, got it set up for the last step of the tire gloss or tire gel, so I'll show you in the camera here. So this is 
Q2 tire from Gion. And I've liked it so far. I mean, it smells good, like all their products. Um, and it's, it stayed on pretty well, it's pretty tacky. And I just use a foam applicator that you see here to put it on. So I just pour a little bit on there. I just rub it on. I think the key is as well to let it sit and kind of soak into that tire before you drive it. So I never just jump on the highway after putting this on. But it goes on kind of thick. Uh, is it being the consistency is kind of thick. And the only problem I have is I can never reach the bottom underneath. So after once I move the car back in, into its parking space, then I usually can get that last little piece that I missed. I usually get that, I try to get that little inside edge too on the tire. But I think it gives it the right amount of gloss. I do like that. I don't like it super slick glossy, but you not know, sad, but I hope you can see that. It just comes out nicely. Nice finishing look. So I'm gonna do the other four tires and then we're gonna wrap up the video. All right, guys, that's a wrap for another video. Um, enjoyed this process. Hope you enjoyed it with me. If you have any questions or anything um, and just wanna talk about it, just Leave me a comment. Please like, uh, subscribe if you can feel to, if you want to follow along. And we're going to do more things like this. So this was an easy wash today uh, just because it was a maintenance wash and the car was in good condition already. So when you, when you take care of the car and you do the right steps and you put in the time, it makes the maintenance washes a lot easier. So we're going to do some more. Washing cars, talking life, talking products. So stick around with Decon Nation. Thanks for watching.